Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams of Action Chapel International to pray for the family and we end with a Lord's Prayer. May we stand please. From the tree on to the trees and the he lead to every fall is if anguish and Christ is long indeed our heavenly father we are guarded from different works of life and many have come from the land and breadth of this nation some have come by air and others by water and by land with a heavy heart as we gather to witness the home going of a patriarch a friend a father a charismatic leader one that made a difference in all of our lives we now recognize that we understand that our understanding is limited in times and moments like this. We pray for the wife and every one of the children, the grandchildren, and the entire family that you the father of the fatherless will father his children that you the god and the husband of widows will comfort nana in the name of jesus praying for his family that history would treat them kindly and remember them for good and not for evil. The Thou, O God, that answereth prayer, will bow your head and that you will attend and hearken to our petitions, intercessions, and prayers and grant to everyone in the name of Jesus that is grieving for the loss of a loved one, a friend, the comfort so needed from you at this difficult, challenging time in the life of the family of our late president. Shield them, comfort them, protect them, Deliver them, guide them, and let none at his departure face any life-threatening situation. May they be preserved, and may they escape every danger and challenges that is ahead. I pray now in the name of Jesus. You spirit and angel of death, it is enough. Stay your hand, pass over, stand down, relinquish your powers. Pass over this family and pass over all the grieving families of this nation. In the name of Jesus, the Son of God, Heavenly Father, from Zinato. In the name of Jesus, 
to all the siblings, yes and to one, in the name of Jesus, to Amina, to Kimati, we pray that you will be with them and help them to make sense of the unanswered questions on their mind. For it is you and you alone in times like this that can help us to make sense of the things we can make sense of. Heal, comfort all the grieving people of Ghana. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We are still standing to do the Lord's